Hey, what's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Super different video just to enable UEFI, Secure Boot, and TPM on an MSI motherboard. This is a H370 gaming motherboard. All you need to do is spam delete while the system's starting up or whatever key shows on the boot screen, and then you'll end up in the click BIOS. You can hit F7 to switch between simple and advanced mode. In advanced mode, head across to settings, use your arrow keys to navigate to security, enter, and for TPM, under trusted computing, make sure security device support is set to enabled. Then head back twice using escape, head up to boot, and make sure that boot mode select is UEFI, right in the middle here, instead of UEFI plus legacy. If you've already got UEFI mode selected, you'll only have UEFI here. Then head back once, up to advanced, and inside of here, moving all the way down to Windows OS configuration. Inside of here, you can make sure Windows 10 WHQL support is set to UEFI instead of CSM. Doing so enables UEFI instead of the legacy BIOS mode. Then finally, under Secure Boot down here, requiring UEFI mode, you can set Secure Boot to enabled. If you just changed from legacy, or whatever this was, yeah, CSM, then when you go into Secure Boot and ask it to enable this, it's gonna say save your changes and reset first, which means restart your PC first, and then navigate back to Advanced Windows OS Configuration Secure Boot to enable Secure Boot here. So you'll need to reboot once you make that UEFI change from CSM. Then once you've enabled Secure Boot here, you can hit Escape a few times, back into Settings if you go too far, and then head down to Save and Exit, followed by Save Changes and Reboot. If you need to reboot just after changing to UEFI, you'll head to the same place, Save Changes and Reboot, then Spam Delete once more or whatever key shows on your screen to get back to the UEFI settings, and you should be able to enable Secure Boot. That's it. Once you've made these changes and saved here, everything should be set up for things like Battlefield, etc. We've just enabled TPM Secure Boot and set it to UEFI mode, so everything should be fine. But yeah, hopefully you found this quick video useful. Sorry for the microphone. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.